Definitely. <laughs> <laughs> hey, 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 everybody, blast off. We are back in the basement, and I'm so excited today because we got a great uh, old bee, as I like to say, and an amazing new bee. And uh, Ron White and Josh Blue are here. Which, which one am I? You're the newbie. Oh, I'm a newbie. Yeah. I thought that was the older person. No, this is and your first time. Bee. So Josh How many times has Josh been on it? Bee. Uh, second. Second time. Yeah, oh, and that's yeah. all it takes. Huh? Hard to and, remember. And but. for life, you know, he's always welcome mm -hmm. and always happy to have him. And but I'm still questionable. No, yeah. when he said, uh, you know, when I got the word that Josh, oh, Josh asked Ron White, like I've been wanting you from day one to do the show, and we've been doing it for two years now. And uh, so we're thrilled that uh, Josh just saying, hey, come get high with me on the internet, uh, that actually worked. <laughs> yeah, right, it did, Perfect. it did. <laughs> yeah. Great job, dude. Yeah. And uh, you're gonna be performing at Red Rocks uh, on June 16th. Who is? Uh, Josh. Oh, yeah, I am. I'm yeah. sorry if I uh, <laughs> okay. surprised so, you about your own idea. Maybe we should have had a meeting. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah. But yeah, so uh, somebody on the staff pointed out that uh, so today's show yeah, is so red, you'll red be white, traveling and blue. all the way to that area <laughs> to uh, do a show at Red Rocks. Yeah. Okay, that's yeah. good. That's good. Yeah, and we do, uh, you know, we talk about all your plugs. You gave us a bunch of, uh, of your dates to uh, mention at the end of the show. But uh, let me tell you what's going to happen. At 20 minutes after the hour, it's going to be 420 somewhere, is yeah, what we like to say. Uh, like, of course, in the central time zone today, uh, you know, Chicago, Minneapolis, uh, all those places that I'm going to be uh, touring and visiting, uh, as you guys are as well, probably, uh, can watch us and, uh, you know, get high at 420. We've got a sativa and a indica uh, for you guys to use. Are, you, are there preferences uh, for either of you? There's not for him. <laughs> You'll just smoke anything, right? He will. Yeah, I mean, me. I'll smoke yeah, anything. It's past you, you smoke it. Yeah. That's... You know, you don't stand around going, oh, what kind of... Is it going to have a strawberry aftertaste? I just try to use your <laughs> most unbreakable bowl. So, yeah, unbreakable. Josh breaks a couple of bowls on the bus every once in a while. And, uh, <laughs> I've, you know, I've definitely fucked up his tour bus. Every so. day. And he, we took him off the red wine because... I mean, oh, for the most the part, Josh can, is, is great, but if that muscle twitches and that glass of wine's in the wrong hand, it just goes straight up the wall, all straight up the wall. And so, <laughs> but we've, we've found, though, a great That's cup. Crazy. And now he's back in the red wine business on the bus again, uh, but he threw it accidentally and broke it. We got and, a sippy cup that it's, looks it's like a, a wine glass. Oh. It's a sippy yeah, but cup. it's got a... That's nice. But it still broke that thing. Or get one of those <laughs> mattresses on the bus where they have the wine glass and it doesn't fall over. That would probably work while the bus was moving too, right? Probably no. No? Yeah. You don't think not so? The way no, I do probably it. not. Not the way right. I do it, Doug. Uh, the sativa is called Blue Dream. Mm, yeah, one of my favorites. favorites. And the uh, indica is OG Kush. So you are uh, more of a sativa man then, you think? You like it depends on whether or not I uh, uh, want to go uh, do know, something. It, right, it, it yeah. depends. I, I like them both, but for different reasons. You know, yeah. if I'm uh, if I'm going to sleep, I want a, I want an uh, indica, and if I'm uh, awake, doing a show, I, uh, doing a show <laughs> or uh, just, you know, something important that I've got some things to do. Yeah, well, um, you know how to answer the question. Everybody right. asking this show, they, the first thing we have to do is I have to explain the difference. Oh, real? No, oh, no, <laughs> oh, really, you're dealing really. with some professionals. Yes, yeah, yes, a, this is uh, a very professional episode. So yeah, settle sativa down, is comments. what I call work pot. Right. So there's work pot and sleep pot. Yes. <laughs> and uh, so that's how I distinguish between the two. Yeah. So I, we did some work pot beforehand. Yeah, just to get ready. <laughs> just to get ready. The sativa indica blend for me is a punch up pot. You know, like you have the, you, you write the joke high, then you look at it again when you're another kind of high, and then you'd have some indica and have a nice night's sleep. And no mm -hmm. dreams. Do you dream when you uh, go to sleep mm -mm. high? I don't know. I love it. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Know, my memory sucks too bad. Exactly. You forget exactly. your dreams before you even wake up. I yeah. love it. I, Weed I, steals I, your dreams. I love it. So uh, my alarm didn't go off for some reason, probably because I put AM instead of PM or something. But uh, uh, it's time, you guys. Uh oh, <laughs> something's happening. Uh, I, I think I sh I'm glad I don't have any plans for the rest of today. Yeah, the because uh, the bottle has come out, and <laughs> and this. He didn't trust your shit, man. 
I, I didn't even drift your grinder. Well, I'm glad uh, that we. Uh, I left some of the pipes uh, empty. I hadn't. I haven't preloaded all of them because. Uh, Here I rolled you this. You got uh, something, and you rolled something yeah, too. Because sometimes Let's it's better that. for Josh to smoke a joint uh, <laughs> because you can't break it. Uh, well, is that a challenge, Ron? That would be an honor if Josh Blue broke one of our pipes live on the oh, show. No problem. Take me that joint back here. <laughs> I'll, break, I'll break them all, Doug. <laughs> Don't burn the set down, please. Uh, but what's in the bottle, Ron? Uh, this is uh, called uh, Number One Tequila. That's owned by me and my brother-in-law. And it's the most ridiculous uh, juice on the planet. Uh, mm. Ridiculous. Um, yeah, I'd love to, for you to taste it. Are you a tequila drinker at all? Mm -mm. I mean, I've drank plenty of it in my life, but you know how like certain things start to, the hangovers feel worse, uh -huh. you know? I'm just much better with vodka than tequila. Uh, but well, I'll try it. Day, brother. I'll try the hell out of it. All right. Well, uh, yeah, well, I'm not you fucking got, around uh, here. You What's got that, Sampy? Uh, is this a Yeah, put good, it in there. Put it in my, uh, my mug. Bong, right. cup. <laughs> Give me a mug full of that. Yeah, this isn't the shit you were puking through your nose when you were in high school. Uh, this is uh, eight-year-old plants aged in a retired bourbon barrel for uh, three and a half years. What are we dealing with? Is it just... Yeah, just uh, grab one, dude. It's... And this is coming back around, too. Oh, fuck. <laughs> Oh, Jesus. <laughs> Turn the cameras off for a sec. Okay, don't show this part. Oh, God. Yep. Don't show me helping my friend. I don't want people to know I help my friends. I'm keeping it a secret. <laughs> I've got a persona to keep up. God damn. But... <laughs> Holy shit, dude! You're one of my favorite comics. So this is uh, this is very cool that this is happening. Because also you're not like a, you, you mentioned that you smoke weed on like radio shows and stuff. But yeah. You're not like the weed guy. You're like the booze guy. Uh, I'm the guy. Yeah, I mean the know, guy I'm in general. The, I don't know what guy I am. Uh, I, uh, you know what I mean? You don't seem drunk on stage, but you're always drinking. Oh, no, you've seen me drunk on stage. If you <laughs> saw any of that blue collar stuff. Oh, you get hammered for that shit? Well, not not on purpose, <laughs> but I would go on and do 10 minutes, and then then Larry would go on and do 10, and then Bill would do 50, and Jeff would do 50, and then we'd come back out, and I got a bottle of Johnny Walker Blue in my dressing room and two hours to kill. What do you think's going to fucking happen? You know? So... And, and, and people were like, oh, wow, he's such a good actor. He looks so drunk. And I'm like, Jesus Christ, I could barely sit on that fucking stool. But, but man, you are so right about all that time that you're not on stage. Like, I'd do the same thing. I would just get so hammered every night. Yeah. Know? Yeah, that's, um, <laughs> that's part of the probably problem. That's the reason I don't tour with them anymore. Um, I'm actually a little rowdy uh, for those boys, to tell you the truth. Really? Yeah, yeah you, you know, you're probably not the one that wants to just go hang out at Golden Corral after the show. Jeff Foxworthy is the spokesman. Yeah, I guarantee you, Jeff doesn't hang out at Golden Corral. Do they but... even have a bar at the Golden Corrals? Mm. I don't know. I've never been in there. You know what I mean? Like Denny's, yeah. some of them have a bar. Like a, Really? Yeah. They do now, yeah. Some of them do. Yeah. I know the Hooters does. <laughs> yeah, uh, that's all you need to know. I don't know what they got at the Golden Corral. Yeah, right, I so guarantee you, you, if you go to the Golden Corral and say, I want, I'll, I'll take, I'll have what Jeff had last time he was here, they'll give you a Diet Coke and a paycheck. <laughs> That's a, well, I will, I will take that happily, because it's a good, good number on that check. Uh, but speaking of numbers, this is number one tequila. And do I, what do I do, sip it or shoot it? Yeah, no, 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 it's a sipping tequila. It's okay. uh, just smell it. It's just, a, it's a, it, I, I guarantee you, and I should have done this, if I let you taste it first, you wouldn't have been able to tell me it was a tequila. Uh, really? Because yeah. it smells like tequila. Well, maybe you would have. Maybe you uh... <laughs> It's definitely got a tequila smell, which I, I enjoy a great deal. I like that smell a lot, oh, so I'm happy with that. But let me get, let me sip it. All oh, these goodies. <laughs> Dude, you are right. I know. The aftertaste is tequila and the smell is tequila. Yeah. But when you're when it's in your mouth and and uh, sipping it down, it's just like uh, I dare say almost like molasses. Yeah, it's a it's, it's cognac-y, really. Mm -hmm. There's plenty of that on the bus. Yeah, we got a little we got a little tequila on the bus. Oh, that is so baller. Oh, Jesus. Just drinking it right out of the bottle. <laughs> Smash. <laughs> Who passed it to Josh? 
That's no. awesome. You didn't get my sippy but bottle. The other day, <laughs> I walked off stage and I forgot my drink, and uh, which never happens. And I looked over my uh, road manager and I go, my drink. And I always bring Josh out for a, 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 a bow and a, a, a whatever. And uh, they gave the drink to Josh. And so he's, he was, hey. I'm like, you, you couldn't think of anybody to give it to better than Josh. So I got like, like an eighth of a drink left by the time he gets it out there. But it got a huge laugh, so then we started faking the whole thing. Oh, shit, yeah. I don't even have palsy anymore. No, he doesn't. Yeah, you got to keep up no, appearances. It's like there's one of those wacky movies yeah. where a guy pretends and gets famous, mm-hmm. and then he has to keep pretending. <laughs> so sorry about that, Josh. It's not funny, I, I, man. I, I, it's I hear not. people say it's it on my website and, uh, the, and uh, well, Twitter, and that, that, uh, that he doesn't really have cerebral palsy and I'm like well he's, he's, he's got me buffaloed and we live on a bus together some of the time and that's uh, don't that's, people that's throw that's around the, the accusation that you uh, that you pretend that you have it worse than you do uh, to just to well, for sympathy or whatever the fuck they think you're doing it for I wish that was the case <laughs> right yeah. wouldn't be that really be cool <laughs> just one day go yeah I was just joking well, around yeah, that's people- why he breaks pipes on my bus so I'll perpetuate that story yeah, of yeah. his handy yeah. Well, and people do sometimes like, well, you're really funny, but you should lose the whole palsy thing. I'm like, I, I tried. <laughs> well, give me some advice, man. <laughs> I'd really enjoy your show more if you didn't have that. Well, what kind yeah. of asshole would I be if I really didn't have cerebral palsy and was just doing this for a guest? Or if they found the cure and you're just like keeping it on the DL. Okay, that's a little too close to home. Sorry, buddy. <laughs> you're right, though. I didn't get stoned, did you? What, what happened with that? Keep it's going, man. You, whatever you uh, eat, the joint. whatever you I'm like. Kidding. I don't know what you happened. Have to, to do it. you have to do something else today? No. You want to have a oh game? yeah, show. I got a show, show at, uh, uh, We both do, as a matter of fact. We're oh, we do. Yeah, we're in do sets at the um, comedy store. Sweet. Did you just if hold you up to. a signal that I completely missed? Okay, good. The, I just saw uh, him putting down the cards, uh, like he, like I saw it. Like, don't mention um, that. Oh. Ron, who's the most famous person you ever smoked with? If you can, rat them out. If that's a okay thing to do. Uh, yeah, I'm probably. thinking maybe like a president or some shit. I don't shit. know. Nah, I don't know. The, uh, <laughs> I don't know. Some a big, big rock star, but I yeah. don't know. He's, you know, you don't know which ones you can talk about. I, I, you know, he's just genuinely a really good friend of mine. He's, I, I know how private he is, and and uh, and I know <laughs> that. So I would just, nah, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna. Well, say, everybody's but, going on the internet now, and everybody you've ever claimed they, to be they, good close every, to it's is really now easy. A, a it's easy market. to figure it out. <laughs> yeah, right. yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> okay, Brian Johnson from ACDC smokes pot. I'm gonna say it, Brian. Sorry, Brian. I'm sorry. Sorry, Brian. I just ran you out. Yeah, yeah that is a shocker. Kind of rock band. That's a shocker. Water. But if he gets mad at me and chews me out for it, I can't understand what he says anyway. Ruin me, cut me, son, my foot, me, hell of me. What, Brian? Exactly? That's so <laughs> awesome that you're friends with him. Yeah, he's a, he's a, good he's a, he's he's a friends a, with. He's just a greatest guy. But he has to. He's kind of being. He's forced. He's being forced into retirement because of his voice. Is that? Before, no, saying? not his voice at all. His voice is amazing. Uh, uh, it's his hearing. That uh, uh, that is that the sound is going to Oh, that's it. That's it. Is it's going to be worse. So now they've it's gonna got. Make his hearing uh, worse, yeah. There's only like 18 dates left, and the band is done. And uh, uh, and what a run, you know. The uh, second bill- biggest selling album of all time, but Back in Black, only behind Thriller. That uh, it sold more albums than any other album ever. Wow. Yeah, people, that's like a statistic nobody would get, even guess. It. Yeah, right. You know, it's so stealthy. But they're they're bringing in Axl Rose for these last few shows mm. and. And, uh, There's a lot of debate about that. Fuck. <laughs> uh, you know the thing is, he's 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 fat. Did you know that, <laughs> Axel? He's fat. Oh, maybe that's and why he's, he's got on broken, time. He doesn't go he's far. He's got a broken later. foot, and even before he broke his foot, he was taking oxygen on stage. That ACDC show, and they're going to have Guns and Roses open for him. And then he's going to sing for both of them. Double oh. whammy. And, yeah. He's and just going to whisper it, all their songs. I yeah. guarantee he can't do it. He, I, I, there's no way he can do it. Brian works with his 
trainer from Formula One, and he stays in just amazing shape all the time, and he rocks his fucking ass off for yeah, two no and a kidding. half hours. I can't even clap through a whole song, I mean, without just going, when does this fucking thing end? <laughs> all right, I'm sitting down. Okay, <laughs> who wants to sit down with me? Anybody? God yeah, you're just sitting, and all, everyone's all standing, having the time of their lives, but man, I heard yeah. that the song was two minutes, 58 seconds, and... <laughs> But like anyway, that's what's that's what's gonna happen, and uh, and uh, uh, <laughs> and Frank told me he goes, well, they're gonna hit him, and I uh, they they hated me when I started with AZDZ, and and Bon Scott was dead, <laughs> so it was either right me or nobody, and they picked nobody, <laughs> and they did, they protested, man, when uh, anybody started singing for him because they were so in love with Scott. And, uh, but Brian's yeah. been the lead singer for 35 years, so we can go ahead and say he was the lead singer for... Uh, yeah, absolutely. And the voice of uh, Back, Back in Black, so yeah. that was the... And it just, yeah. you know, it sucks. Any Anything that takes somebody out of uh, being able to do what they that's love... That's not the way he wanted to end. Yeah, yeah. That's not the way he wanted to go out. Yeah, for but sure. But what a fucking ride. What a fucking ride. Yeah, amazing. And, uh, you know... He can, he can find something fun to do. He's yeah. got a second album of all time, and he's alive. Not Michael Jackson can't yeah. enjoy that thriller no, he's, money. Uh, he's, uh, so uh, he's putting yeah, he's out got some a coins. Life. He's, got a, he's got a life. He's, uh, he races cars, and uh, well, which, are almost, a, which are almost as loud as the rock and roll. <laughs> Tell him not to crash. I will. I will. <laughs> Text him then now. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Remind him <laughs> to be safe. Uh, I got a new pipe on the table that um, somebody gave me in... Uh, Portland, I think it was, and it's just a beautiful pipe, but then it also says uh, feel the burn on it and has uh, Bernie Sanders uh, caricature on it. Oh, but nice. it's really, But it's really nice, so thank you to the guy who gave me that. I apologize for not giving you proper credit, but <laughs> that's what happens. Its durability? Yeah, yes, please. Oh, that's well, You should take the first hit off of it, oh, great. and then we'll get back to him about... Uh, the Sorry, durability you're not gonna break it beautiful on this pipe. floor, I don't think. No, no, that's fine. These pillars. It's very safe in the spacement. These pillars are looking pretty hard. We do a thing where we keep track of how, you know where people are watching the show, and for some reason, per capita viewers, Washington D.C. like wins week after week after wow. week, and uh, you know everybody says it's because there's less people there, and then I say, yeah, but that per capita takes that into account. That's why that expression is there, uh, but still. Seems like the most logical answer is that it's just a small place, but that also, if I lived where all the politicians were, I you know that I would I would uh, I mean I can't say I would because I already do get high every day, but that's a reason to get high. That would every be day. a new reason mm -hmm. to get high every yeah, day. Yeah, living there, you know, living where like a big tourist attraction, uh, with the you know. Here, what's the. Uh... Magneto and Professor Xavier like playing chess on the steps of the Lincoln Memorial. Huh? It's a terrible place to live. Yeah. What are you doing? You're grinding. I'm grinding. He's getting the grinding I'm going. Ready. And I'm going to take another uh, hit of your uh, delicious tequila. You suddenly, you've turned me back to being a tequila man. I know, it's dangerous. It's a dangerous bottle to have sitting near you. What? Seriously, put this on pancakes in what the morning. It's know, so it's good. A... Oh God! <laughs> what happened? That was. Oh, just what said, just went in the? What just went in your beverage? It's fine. It's Don't fine. just drink it. Uh, that can't mm. be safe. It was like a cat. Oh yeah, he's fine. Okay. I, fine. What is that for? I was seriously trying to. It's got. <laughs> it's got ass. What is that for? I don't know. Try to find the other one because I'll take it out. I, well, I desperately right. want to do this. All right, this thing here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What's it for? It's one of these. <laughs> <laughs> uh, we'll talk about it right after we come back. We have to take a break. Thanks for watching, you guys. Sit on the floor, please. Did you like it, Dan? Uh, the the pot? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Okay, we're gonna find out who here's a narc. Everybody smokes. Everybody smokes. If you don't smoke, you're a fucking cop. <laughs> 
I'm gonna think everybody's mad at me. I'm gonna make a joke all confident, and then I'm gonna be like, that was stupid, I'm sorry. <laughs> Story. Oh, that. Oh, and also, by the way, I'm high already. And um, yeah, I mean, I usually, I usually am, you know. Yeah, I'm fun, just doing whatever. <laughs> yeah, I didn't think it was a very tight. Shit. It's not hard to get you guys to talk and be interesting. This thing looks breakable as fuck. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it does. Man, <laughs> it doesn't even make sense. Man, look at this. Oh God! Oh wait! Oh wait! Uh, you, but you've uh, you've seen the monkey before, right? What does he do again? He's a lighter, but he he broke oh. as a lighter, and now oh, he's just okay. a, now he's just a, a monkey. monkey. That, yeah, it just okay. weighs it too much. The, uh... Yeah, it's not. Children shouldn't play with it. Um, but I'm gonna smoke this um, first hit out of. Oh, actually, <laughs> we we decided Josh was gonna take the first hit oh, God. and potentially break this new uh, field of burn. <sighs> Even, all right. This feels, I don't okay. know, is it exploitive to like do it, say it that way? It works. <laughs> Yay! Good God. <laughs> Perfect. I'll hit it from, well, I'll take a hit from the uh, this brand, new, brand new pipe for the show. It's pretty. Mm -hmm. I wish I could look at it closer. So, Bernie Sanders, is he endorsing this? I mean, I know he was going to legalize uh, weed if he. Uh... Yeah, I think, you know, anybody, any president sees the writing on the wall. There's no reason to, uh, r you know, all you got to do is say, let's leave it up to the states, and then, uh, you know, you don't have to say one way or the other how you feel about weed, you know? Right. You don't have to lose or gain any any uh, uh, constituents. Um, we've got a club here at the show called the 420 Club, mm. and it's, uh, you go to patreon.com slash getting Doug, <clears throat> and for four, $4.20 a month, we give you like extra content and uh, various uh, VIP things. Uh, like this upcoming show we're doing, uh, I'm gonna do my first ever live show in uh, Denver, Colorado on Monday. And um, so uh, people that are members of the 420 Club I'll have a chance to buy tickets to come sit in a bus with me and smoke I'm weed good. before the show. <laughs> Josh is good. Yeah, I'm good. Josh is tapping. I'm good. I'm... Just for now, though. I just didn't like that pipe. Really? No, I'm just kidding. Oh, okay. <laughs> really fucking high, man. <laughs> <laughs> so sign up for uh, the 420 Club. That's the point of that. And, oh, and then the next card that I have here says the tickets are available for the Oriental Theater on May 9th. 2016, that's this uh, next Monday, one week from tonight. And uh, you go to bit.ly slash getting dug in Denver. And you can also get a VIP pass by going to VIP Hotbox. That's fascinating, man. We got sponsors, Incredibles Chocolate and Infused Products, uh, Colorado Cannabis Tours, Sex Pot Comedy, Denver Relief. What was that last one? <laughs> Denver Sex Relief. Uh, <laughs> and Sexy Pizza. Something called Sexy Pizza is a sponsor. I, I can't wait to get some sexy pizza in Denver. It's a good pizza. Yeah. Everything's pretty sexy in Denver, though, because they there. got great weed, and then the altitude, the booze goes right to your head. Like, you get fucked up fast in Denver. Exactly. <laughs> You know what I mean? I can't fuck very good in Denver, though. I, right? Like, like two minutes into it, my wife's like, do you need to take a my little wife. break? You, you look like you just ate a ghost pepper. <laughs> <laughs> That's fucking... That doesn't make anybody horny there. Uh -oh. Yeah, I like it. I, I mean, yeah, it's, uh, it's, you know, it's hard to, all those things uh, play take part in, uh, you know, making it... Difficult. What's happening, Josh? You want me to light one for you? You mean I'll take a hit while you light it? Uh -huh. Sure. Right. Great pick idea. Your, I would pick this far right. one, the one that's far away. <laughs> Where are you going, Ron? Uh, I'm just getting out of the way. I know. Uh, uh, All right, here we go. Oh, God. Oh, God. I was close. What an actor. <laughs> I should get a fucking Emmy. You really were uh, playing it up a little bit there. No, I'm not. You want to get high? 
I'm very twitchy. <laughs> No, but I've always felt like when we hang out and stuff that you, uh, the, the marijuana helps It you. definitely helps him. Yeah, yeah. I, I, I always feel like different. it's an example of, uh, you know, how it. Well, people ask me if it like makes me physically feel better, and the truth is, um, no, I just like getting high. Right. All right, well, fuck us, you know? <laughs> <laughs> right, but just being high right. makes you, uh, you know, just. Uh, but it doesn't well, loosen the tension in your arms because it seems like it does. It, well, it just makes me forget that anything's wrong. <laughs> oh, okay. I, I love to... that. So I, I apologize for continually bringing it up. No, it's okay. Let's talk <laughs> about Arkansas, where things are about to get right. Because uh, this is a, a, a pot topic I was eager to discuss pot because topic. it could be the first, you know, true southern state to go, uh, you know, to legalize. Really? Yeah, and uh, tell us more. <laughs> they, uh, you they, ever think maybe your show would be better if everybody wasn't so fucking stoned? Well, yeah, Has that I ever guess crossed so. anybody's mind <laughs> that the guests might watch? be a little bit sharper? Because <laughs> I, I always go out of my way not to get this stone before I go do something <laughs> at all, and now I find myself with the mind of a fucking dunce. <laughs> Yeah, I'd like to be entertaining, and I just don't have it in me. And once you get me drinking number one tequila, oh no, my oh, day's right over. out of the bottle. Call the comedy store, tell them I ain't coming. Oh, I love that. You could totally not. That's an excuse you can have for not doing a gig. You know what? I drank, smoked, and drank too much. People can't be like, no, Ron, what? <laughs> that's how could that? I know, it's just all built in, man. There's an Arkansas cannabis amendment uh, uh, that uh, would allow for cannabis to be treated very similar to alcohol. Um, what does it need? Does it need signatures or something right now? Uh, go look it up on the internet, you guys, but uh, I think they're looking for signatures. Give me a pen. <laughs> they're stoned. They're not doing anything. You, you notice nobody's done a fucking thing since we've sat down doing this thing? They're just... They set it all up and then I just go, man. Yeah. <laughs> like a <laughs> You go and go. Yeah, what's what's happening? They need signatures? I'm looking it up right now. Hold on. Oh, Daniel Kellison's looking it up. <sighs> but it looked like uh, Brett had it already. I think it'll be on the ballot already. It's going to be on the ballot. Okay, so it's so up to the people. Good luck. Come on, people. Arkansas, you know they're fine with it. Like I, any conservative that's super against marijuana, just uh, they're they're just saying that because they're conservatives. You know, they're just to to towing the party line. What? I'm reading that right now. Yeah, but I, we already. I know what yeah, I wanted to know. It's on the ballot. That's all I was looking for. That's right. He's going to read the whole thing. Well, he's See, he doesn't even get high before the show. Well, so uh, uh, not being high doesn't necessarily mean you're going to be extra that can helpful. be possible. We've definitely sure hot box this room. <laughs> but. Yeah, you might. I don't know. Do you ever feel like you have a contact high, Daniel? Yes. Oh, okay. Yeah, it's cloudy in here, man. See, I, you know, I believe here's my position on uh, marijuana, and uh, it's. I, I think that uh, the only thing that'll work is if they make it legal, like a surfboard that you can make it, you can sell it, you can give it away, you can do whatever you want to with it because it is legal to own or have. Mm -hmm. It's like, you're the, like the grass in your fucking yard or the tomato in your fucking garden. It's legal. There you go, it's legal. So it, then it has less monetary value, but, but, but it still has monetary value. It keeps the people who are great at growing these amazing flowers, being at the forefront of the industry, uh, the, the, the true gurus are the, are the people that really know how to do this. And, uh, and it keeps it out of the hands of fucking Monsanto and all these huge fucking uh, plow boys in there because they're lining those big tractors up right now, gassed up, ready to go. And, uh, and it'll take the fucking heart out of it. You know, it'll take the, it won't be as much fun anymore. Uh, so legalize marijuana. When you, don't dance around the fucking subject. <laughs> legalize marijuana. Make it legal. Maybe a surfboard 
was not a great analogy, but I'm so fucking stoned, all I could come up I with was I love you were talking for that long about it. You still had, I shouldn't have started with surfboard. Surfboard, yeah. right. That was like surfboard, but still. I blew it with that part. But that's legal. But, a surfboard's legal. Well, I always compare it to tomatoes. The, fucking, the tomato, tomatoes. Well, if you don't buy store-bought tomatoes and you grow your own, nobody can stop you or have a word to say about it. And if you want to give them to your friend or sell them to your exactly. mother. Exactly. All of that. Or sell them to your mother and give them to your friend. Yeah. Give them to your mother. But these, these, uh, it doesn't matter because it's legal. But the things don't change in this country unless it's incremental, you know. So like that's part of the problem is that everybody we have to go through this whole medical marijuana thing first, and all these states signing on. But it's just the it, the the boulders rolling in that direction, uh, and it's gonna it's gonna happen everywhere. I think, you know. It has to be a pretty weird conservative area to not want to let your own state decide and take all that tax money. Mm -hmm. You know, we made so much. Well, in my plan, out. there is no tax money because no, I it's do like legal. that. I do like that, Bernie Sanders. Mm -hmm. Where's it's the Bernie legal. Sanders pipe? Did you break it already? Uh, it's, I don't know what I happened know. to it. Oh, I don't even know it. where the rest of that <laughs> joint is. Oh, it's in the here. joint is right here. The Poke right. Bowl. Let's uh, give that a, another uh, whirl. Uh, I just put it out because I always find it f weird, pa you know, passing stuff around. But uh, people love. You're it. in a weird line of work, dude. <laughs> <laughs> I really <laughs> am. <laughs> I tell people like, hey, I, I'd stay out late tonight, but I got I got to get high at work tomorrow. Yeah, I got to go into the studio and get high, and uh, so I can't, uh, you know, I can't fuck around. <laughs> oh shit! That's what it's like on the fucking bus, right there. <laughs> In a fucking more contained environment than this, I'd be scared. <laughs> oh yeah. Uh, my mom uh, came to the show and. I had her on the tour bus, and uh, first thing Ron does is roll a joint and hand it to me. It was the first time I smoked weed in front of my mom. It was pretty intense. Thank you for that. Hey, you know what? I'm the I'm the pot whisperer. I think I can are. bring families together, and I did it with this other friend of mine, this really rich billionaire guy that I know, and his uh, uh, his son, and they they both smoke pot. His son just in college, and going to Pepperdine, and uh, and we've been. He and I had been together all day long, and, I, and he had to go do this phone call or something. I was sitting in the back with his son, who I'm really close to, and uh, he was rolling a joint back there, and uh, and, uh, and I asked him, I said, do you and your dad ever smoke together? And he goes, no, nah, he knows I smoke weed, and I know he smokes weed, but, you know, it just gets, uh, you know, yeah. weird. And So I've whenever those. John came down, I... I, I I said, listen, you can tell me to shut up if you want to, but you guys both smoke pot, and uh, and, and not much compared to me, but you both smoke pot, and I, and it's kind of hypocritical to think that it's that you you both have a drink together, but and I think you'd enjoy it. I know yeah. it was hard for me and my son to get past that spot, you mm -hmm. know, because he's 25 now, but he didn't start smoking pot till he was in college. I started smoking pot when I was 13, mm -hmm. and uh, so. Uh, but but actually, what happened was first I, I handed it. Uh, he, his son handed me the joint, and I handed it to John, and he said he passed on it. And then I said that, and uh, and then he, and while I was saying that, he goes, "Ron, do you want me to take a hit off that?" And I said, "Yeah, that's what I want." And so he took a hit off of it, and then I gave it to his son. And then, there we go. And afterward, his son was like, "Thank you. I had no idea how to do that." And I'm like, "I am the whisperer." Pass it left. You are, man. And you, you, I think that's part of your uh, reason you're so good at it is because I, I think there's people watching right now that are kind of blown away by, uh, you know, how you feel about it and that uh, and, and that you do it and that you're good at it. You may, you know, made a joke about being a dunce, but then, you know, <laughs> that whole thing you just said all makes perfect sense. The only other thing I'd add to it is just that I like, even though it's gradual, I like that the first step is always uh, there's a reason to not go to jail for it. I like that the incarceration part of it is being taken out the quickest. But you're right. right. It should just be legal, and you should just be able to do your own thing, and the government shouldn't have a piece of it. And unfortunately, Bernie's the only person that uh, uh, feels that way, that had a shot at being president, and it just you know, it just doesn't look like it's going to yeah, happen. It doesn't, gonna no. happen. it doesn't look like. I love that old dude. I wish him and Hillary would just get along, and uh, she would settle for being VP, because he's, he's not going to make it through four years of that shit. Uh-uh. No. <laughs> they, got, <laughs> they don't have a no lot. They don't have a lot in common. <laughs> you look at what Obama aged forty years doing that job over oh, eight. God, you know, it's so like the far. worst job. In the, you know, I'm a presidential candidate. My name's on the uh, uh, ballot somewhere. I did my paperwork's done. It's all in. Oh, cool. Um, I lost a 
a lot of steam during a nap one afternoon. And, uh, <laughs> but it was, um, I, I wanted to use it as a platform to say some things I wanted to say. Sure. Uh, nice pass. Yeah, there, that's here. fantastic. That for you. Guys, I'm a pro. That I think he's getting better. Hot smoking, exciting pro. to smoke with Josh. <laughs> <laughs> Just throw it at you when you're not even looking. <laughs> no, I did. I knew you were looking. Last shards. Uh, but yeah, I don't know what you were saying, but I totally agree. See? <laughs> and um, no, but it was you know they did just to re redirect the money we spend rounding up rounding up pot smokers on the weekend and uh, and uh, or and even if we did tax it, we could start putting a bounty on meth labs and and really <clears throat> concentrate on what is fucking killing American kids mm -hmm. way more than ISIS. Yeah. Uh, the, a hundred people die every month of meth. And uh, so how many people die of, 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 of marijuana uh, ever? Not a hundred. It's a, that's the problem. You, if you, uh, no, nobody's, more qualified to be president than oh, me shit. because nobody knows the American people like I do because I've spent the last 30 years nonstop crossing this yeah, country back and forth all talking all to them, doing, making them laugh, drinking with them in bars. And I know what breaks their heart. And they, what breaks their heart is their communities are being ruined by fucking meth. And what do they want to talk about? Heroin because some little rich chick that was good looking died in fucking Cape Cod. Who gives a fuck? <laughs> I asked myself. Right? Uh -huh. No, and everybody. You. There's people watching and smoking, and they agree. Mm -hmm. Yeah, well, yeah. All right. I'll get off of my high horse. No. I'm bit it up. There's a lot of stuff like high. that to be, uh, you know, to be mad about, and that's another reason why I like marijuana is it keeps me from being too, uh, you know, maybe I won't have a stroke from getting worked up over uh, all the things I don't agree with in the world, you know? I almost had a stroke just now. That's what <laughs> <laughs> Thank God medicine, the medicine is on hand. Thank God there's mm. plenty of tequila and marijuana uh, to keep you in shape. Because also, you got you are touring like crazy. Like May 7th through the 28th, you're hitting uh, Nebraska, Denver, Wyoming, Vancouver, Portland, and Nampa, Idaho? Is that right? There's a place you, called you Grandpa know Idaho. More than I, do. I don't. I don't even know where I'm going this weekend. That sounds awesome. Just showing up in a town that like you, we don't even know where what that is, you know? Because uh, you've been to all those other places for sure, and uh, lots more shows going on sale in the next few weeks. So go to tatersalad.com. I'm on some of those too. And, uh, yeah, yeah, we're not, we're not sure which one. No, no, no. But, uh, but, but, if you have, sure. but it'll be on the website which one Josh, Josh is on. And that's, a, that's an amazing, I guarantee you, not a lot of guys uh, would put somebody as talented as Josh in front of him because he goes out there and just beats him in the fucking face every night. Yeah. Thanks, and I sit over there and go, huh. I watch it every night too and, and, and because it's just so much fun. And, and I'm like, yeah, you can't tone it down a little bit, fuck. <laughs> but uh, <laughs> but it's uh, he also, as it turns out, sets a great table because they listen so intently to what he says, and uh, and he also works very slow, and so. I don't and have a choice, Ron. <laughs> What'd you say? I said, I don't have a he choice that it works. I know, but I'm just saying you do. I didn't say why. It wasn't a slam. I'm just saying that. I, that but it also but it, is a compliment. But it allows me to work really that, slow, too, and the, and the crowd's patient enough to fucking sit through it. Establishes that yeah. pace with a crowd. It's always a big, big and house. It's a hell of a one two punch, that's for sure. Yeah. No, I would, uh, I would love to see that show. I, may, I might chase you guys down some more and just come see the show. It's a great reason to go to Vancouver. Well, you can check out my sippy cup on the bus. Or Nampa. I or can't Nampa. wait to see Nampa. I can't either. <laughs> Just I think that might be a typo. Property. Oh, you know what else I've got going on, if, if it's, I can give it a plug? Yes. Is uh, It's a show on uh, it's, uh, called Roadies uh, that I'm going to be in. Uh, we're filming it right now in, in uh, Manhattan Beach Studios, and it's... Uh, uh, it's a show about a huge rock band, uh, but it's about everybody but the band. It's about the people that make that uh, make that touring operation function, and it is a touring operation that that, that functions. Yeah, they, that's that's really uh, exhausting work what they do. Yeah, it's amazing, mm -hmm. and, but it's also people that have given up their any regular life at all mm -hmm. because of their love of music and their insanity, and <laughs> to yes. go on the road and make these things happen. And it, and that's mm -hmm. where the great stories. 
movies are, and it's uh, it's uh, written and directed by Cameron Crowe and executive produced by J.J. Abrams, and uh, it's going to be uh, on Showtime June 26th at 10 o'clock. That's when it starts, and uh, they bought 11 episodes, so uh, sit back and they're fun. They're really fun. It's that's it, awesome. That's another thing that's uh, long overdue is you and something awesome like that. I think that's going to be super fun to watch. Uh, Josh huh. is going to be uh, opening for Divachka. Yep. What's that? It's a gypsy punk band. Holy shit. Yeah. Uh, yeah, awesome. You know what? I bet you they also appreciate your slow pace. Uh, no, they rip it, man. <laughs> uh, yeah. uh, you're opening for them at Red Rocks uh, on June with, 16th. They're with the Colorado Symphony, so it's this band and the symphony. Oh, man. It's really awesome. I, that they, whole thing sounds amazing. And tickets are still available? Yes. AXS.com for tickets and JoshBlue.com for all of his dates and uh, uh, tickets. And we're going to do one more segment, you guys. We got to we got to go to a break, and then we're going to come back and do uh, one more thing we, before we say goodbye. Uh, we'll be right back. Hey, everybody! So that we don't have to do it in the show, I'm going to do it during the breaks. I want to say subscribe to this show if you haven't already, and click the like button as it helps fight against people to flag our videos. And you can also subscribe on iTunes for the audio only version of the show. And also, our web store is now through villaby.com. We'll put it on the screen, I think, maybe. Uh, <laughs> check it out. You can still visit us at the same URL, bit.ly slash Doug Merch. Order your mugs, t-shirts, and blue cards. Get blue cards. We'll sign them, and then the post office will put something right over the signature, and it's a big waste of money. Cards for high manity, I like to call it. Thanks, you guys. Enjoy your day. <laughs> hey, you guys. What's up? Our friends at Pokeball have a special offer for fans of Getting Dug with High. You can buy a Pokeball Home Dome Frosted Ashtray like we have here on the table, with 10% off if you use the promo code Doug. Just go to pokeball.com, promo code Doug, to receive your 10% discount. This is out, and I'm gonna, someone is gonna be fired. Welcome back to Okay, so um, I've been told that if you're in the 420 Club, uh, we're going to have a drawing for one free pass to get into this uh, bus that I'm going to hang out in before the uh, show on Monday at the Oriental Theater in Denver. <laughs> Richard underscore Lynn 19 on Twitter wants to know, Ron, have you ever smoked with Willie Nelson or Merle Haggard? Both. Yeah, of course. <laughs> Those guys aren't, weren't, shy, weren't and aren't shy about that. Yeah. But uh, yeah, that was that was uh, sad news about Merle Haggard. How, how recently did that happen? Uh, I'm bad with dates, man. Um, yeah, yeah it was, but it was. <laughs> but it but, feels but, very but, recent. But four big deaths. I mean, in music, uh, with, it's been, with, yeah. with Bowie and Glenn Frey and uh, Prince and uh, Prince and, yeah. and, and Merle Haggard. Yeah. It's very very strange uh, timing. Um, but speaking of timing, now that you guys are very high, yeah. uh, this is the part of the show where my friend Gabe comes on and he's going to uh, do a, a magic trick for you. So here we go. Mm -hmm. Hey guys. Okay. How's it going? Yeah. Brian, you mind helping me? No, no, it won't no. Take no. Much. Just reach out and tap a card. Okay, that one. Take a look at it. Memorize. Okay, place it back That's here. Pretty easy to memorize one card. Perfect. I got it. <laughs> Some people can't, especially at this point in the show. You'd be surprised. I saw it and I don't know what it was. <laughs> All right. It's fading on me right now. <laughs> <laughs> it won't be much longer. Just tell me when to stop anytime. Stop. Right there. All right, I'm just going to listen to the deck once. <coughs> All right, here we go. I think I got it. That's it? That's yeah. amazing, dude. That Thanks, way, man. you know what? You could have just pulled it out of your ear. I wouldn't know. <laughs> <laughs> Why don't you do it at the beginning of the show? We're we'll having a chance. 
<laughs> Quite frankly, I was stoned when I got here. Yeah, I mean, and it's you know, it's, no, uh, it's even when you're not stoned, it's still it's still like oh he he did he manipulated things so that was able to happen. You know, great job. Thanks, no, that's, Gabe. no, that's crazy. Yeah. Crazy. I, I have no idea how you do that. I, I have a friend you. that does it in in Vegas that it just. And I just, that fucking, I, it makes me want to pull my fucking head off, and he won't show me how he does it. Gabe's got a personal appearance coming up, you guys. He's going to be at the BSE. What do you think that was right there? Yeah. That was a personal well, this appearance. Is, you know, we're all just here to plug our shit, and Gabe's going to be at the BSE Collective uh, with uh, the company Honey Farm that makes delicious, I think I'm about to have a Honey Farm hit out of this weird thing, uh, this Friday. Uh, he's going to be there this Friday from 10 a.m. to 2 p.m. What are we calling that date? The 6th? It's May 6th? 5th. Fifth. Cinco Shit. De Mayo. Cinco de Mayo's Thursday, dude. Then it's on Thursday. Then it's on Thursday. <laughs> <laughs> so where can they go to co get confirm when and where it is? Uh, BSE's Instagram page. BSE Collective Instagram? Yeah. Okay. Uh, I'm going to be at Zany's in Rosemont this Wednesday through what? Saturday. Mother's Day, I'm doing a Benson movie interruption of Throw Mama from the Train at the Alamo Draft House in Littleton, what? Colorado. And as mentioned before, Monday, May 9th, Getting Dug with High comes to the Oriental Theater in Denver. DougLovesMovies.com for dates and or more dates because there's more than that and links. I gotta try this thing now. What the hell Anything is else that? you guys want to tell the uh, a shoehorn what the people? That? Enlighten them. Anything uh, you know? Something maybe like if somebody's watching two years from now, they'll, they'll be like, "Oh, he was right about that. He was very high, but he knew, <laughs> he knew that that was gonna happen." Ask him. Like a prediction. Well, um, you know, I am very high, and uh, I just I wanted to tell you that. <laughs> that brings me back to my earlier point. It's a solid prediction that he's going to have a similar prediction again uh, and again and again. You know that that's uh, just keeps coming up. That's how it's going to go. So what? Uh, what, do you, what is that? Yeah, what is that? <laughs> hey Sherlock, what do you let's, got? Let's there? get back to the consumption, man. Okay, that's, all, that's the only thing we're really any good at. Yeah. No, please, by all means, give this a whirl. It's a. You vape. press a button and it's a vape and it gives you like a monster hit, like a like a bomb. <laughs> so don't go too crazy. <coughs> and um, I think it's quite delicious. Does it have weed in it? And effective. <laughs> <laughs> What's in there, Gabe? Weed. It's weed. <laughs> Oh, wow, that's cool. Good. Good. Thank you. CO2 oil. You want to try it? No. <laughs> <laughs> no. <laughs> Not at all. Are you uh, here? <laughs> <laughs> here. <coughs> that's <was> perfect, man. <laughs> Don't uh, <die>. Bravo. <coughs> oh. We made our goal of trying to get to, uh, we wanted uh, uh, 420,000 subs subscribers by 420, and we hit it on 422. So it was only two days late, <laughs> but, but it was still a lot. What? That's for likes. That's for likes. And, uh, <laughs> oh, I see. So we're still far short of that for subs, subscriptions, but we made it on likes. But either way, uh, thank you for doing that, you guys. And as one more time, uh, everybody in the studio, and clap if you're at home as well, for Josh Blue and Ron White. Oh. Amazing yeah. job, you guys. I'm really high. <laughs> yeah, it was amazing, wasn't it? Mm -hmm. And our next show is in Denver <laughs> on Monday, May 9th. Uh, so it'll be 8 p.m. Mountain Time, 7 p.m. Pacific, and 10 p.m. <laughs> Eastern. Uh, see you soon, Denver. TatersTequila.com. Oh, yeah, yeah. TatersTequila.com. Taters we'll send it to your house. <laughs> Shit. Yum. <laughs> <laughs>